I want you to get out some materials just as I have. And if you don't have those materials in front of you, you need to pause the camera and go get them. Remember, math is not a spectator sport, and you're going to learn far more by working with a manipulatist yourself. In the video, I'm going to model some ways that you might be working with children, as well as teaching you some ideas for working with children and important verbalizations. And also teach you to work with them, because if you, like I, went to school and had not worked with manipulatives, this is different for you. And you need the experience as well. With the materials in front of you, pick up two. Some of you may have picked up these. Some other people may have picked up these, or you might imagine that a child might pick up these. Well, how can I get you to pick up what I want? You need to know what kind, right? Pick up two of the units kind. Very easy now. Pick up two of the tens kind. Right here. Pick up one of the hundreds kind. Here. Three of the tens kind. Here. And you see some ways that you can start working with older children in doing this type of problems. Now, let's clear this off and focus on these. You're working with a very young child at this point. Now, we're assuming that the child can count from one to nine. We need to make sure that the child is good at identifying this is one, this is two, this is three. You can do all sorts of things with that. You might have a pile of these in one place in your home or in your classroom and ask the child to go get one or two or three units or five units or eight units, just checking. They're going to have a good time doing that and showing you. You can do little fast races to see how fast they can gather those up and that type of thing as well. Now, they've done that. Suppose you're working with a young child who does not yet know their numerals. We're going to do exactly the same thing in identifying the numerals that we did in identifying our unit 10 and 100. We need to do a three-peer lesson. I'm going to model this with just three cards, but of course you would start out with more than that. This is a one, this is a two, this is a three. Hold up two. Point to three. Point to one. You see, the child has heard those words. They're very familiar. Now, they're learning those symbols. The next thing you may want to do is match those with the bars. So, can you show me one bar? Can you show me two units? Three units? And the child is doing that. Another fun thing to do is to show them the card or hand them the card, let them go get those blocks, bring them to you. After doing that a few times where they took the card with them, then just show them the card and let them go get it. This develops their visual memory. Before when we told them it helped develop their auditory memory, showing it to them, then letting them go get it develops their visual memory. Now that they've done that and had fun counting the blocks and that sort of thing, it's time to work in smiley face counting book one. Get out your book, that's the blue one, and let's look at the first page. You see here that the child just needs to count. They see that it's three, and where there is a three, a smiley face has been drawn. And if the child wants, they can put frownies where it was not the right response. And the next one, the child can count and see that it's five. Where is the numeral for five? It's right here. 
and that's just barely written in so the child can trace over that and make us smiley. Next, we have one that the child must fill out on their own. Two, two. Let me point out that each of these books is 20 or 21 pages long. It's not gonna take a child very long to finish that, is it? It may take the young children a day or two. The older ones, it may take just a few minutes, but it's been good practice for them. Now, if you're working with some nine, 11 year olds, you may just have them go through a page or two and do some problems verbally. That's fine. Because our goal is for them to get the concept and understand that those are units. Now, let's move on. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. But what kind is that? It's the tens kind, and I need a way of showing that. We put this zero here. Four with a zero tells us we have four. This tells us it's the tens kind. And we're going to refer to this as four tens. Later, after the child understands that, when they see that, we'll go through and we'll give them some new names. We could also call this 40. We could also call five tens 50. And you know what? They've heard those words before. They've used those words before. So now all they're doing is attaching a lot of meaning to some words that were just words that they could say probably in sequence. Now they have meaning. Now we're looking at Smiley Face Counting, book two. What does the child need to do? First of all, they need to understand that these represent 10 bars. And then they just count one, two, three. Three tens. This one is the way we write three tens, and we see a smiley face. The next problem, one, two, two tens. We write two tens this way, and the smiley face is partially filled in for the student. Now the next problem they do on their own. One, two, three, four tens, and it's right here. The child fills in the smiley face. Again, we can see how easy it is for the child to be successful. Now, let's add a little variety. Suppose that you had two chocolate chip cookies and your friend had three chocolate chip cookies and you decided to put them all together to save them to have after supper. What have we got? Here's a problem where we're identifying the two that we have and the three that our friend has. And let's look at this in our Smiley Face edition. This is book one. This is the one with the brown cover. And here is this problem where I have two and my friend has three. And I'm just identifying this problem. Here it is, two plus three. Actually, I'm just practicing counting. And if you want, you can extend this book beyond just identifying the problem to well, how many would we have if we put it all together? It would be five. For the younger children, you just do that out loud. For older ones, you might want to have them write it. So you get a double use out of these particular books. Notice that I built this problem, or uh, that's what I'm gonna do first, or if I'm working with the child after they've seen it, then I'm gonna say, will you get out this many? So down here, what are they gonna do? They're gonna get out this many, and they're just offset to make it easier to count. And they're also going to get out this many. How many do we have here? Five. And we're going to put with that two. Here it is. Maybe my friend had five marbles and I had two. And this is a picture of what we're going to do in the problem. We have a saying in Mortensen Math 
that what is the question is more important than what is the answer. Think about it. If you don't understand the question, how could you possibly figure out the answer? Sure, it's possible, but it's not very likely. The smiley face books are really directed toward this. You will see this in the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But as you proceed onward in these books, you will see that they do much, much more than that. But they do start the child out by identifying what is the question.